Today we revisit one of the most popular topics ever released on this channel on Q&A Mondays, exposed fastener metal roofing versus standing seam metal roofing. What's up guys, I'm Thad Barnett from Sheffield Metals and today we're gonna take a look at something a little bit different on Q&A Mondays. We released an episode called Exposed Fastener Metal Roofing versus Standing Seam Metal Roofing. We got some comments asking for a more graphical look at the topic. So that's what we're gonna do in today's episode. If you missed the original, you can check that out right here. We had a good conversation. We're just gonna revisit a little bit today. Today, we're gonna take a look at these two types in a general way. There's a lot of different products, lots of different installation practices, lots of different types of assemblies. So for the sake of time, we're gonna try to keep it simple and just look at these in a general way. First, let's take a look at the differences between exposed fastener metal roofing and standing seam metal roofing. Exposed fastener is just like it sounds, it uses an exposed fastener to attach the panel to the substrate, while standing seam uses hidden hardware under the vertical leg to attach the panel to the substrate. Exposed fastener is usually lighter gauge material than standing seam, and they're often a lot wider than standing seam panels are, which means they'll go down faster. Less panels, less installation time. When it comes to paint, a lot of exposed fastener systems use an SMP paint system or silicon modified polyester instead of the more high quality PBDF paint system, the polyvanillidine fluoride paint system that standing seam often uses. However, you can get PBDF systems with exposed fastener roofs, but we'll take a look at all that a little bit later. What about flashings, details, closures? Well, for exposed fastener metal roofing, um, often uses a foam closure at the eave and ridge, and that's a little bit easier to install than the metal closures that standing seam uses, because those foam closures are preformed to fit the profile already. Now, it takes a little bit more knowledge and time to install the metal closures of standing seam metal roofing. If you wanna learn about that, you can check out this video series here. What about materials? Well, exposed fastener metal roofing is usually steel. Things like aluminum, copper, zinc, you're gonna see those as accent pieces sometimes, but because you're usually fastening on top of a raised rib, those materials are often too soft to hold their shape. That's why steel is most widely used. However, on the coastline, you will see some thicker aluminum for exposed fastener systems, and if you're within 1,500 feet of a coast, we definitely recommend going with aluminum instead of something like galvalum due to corrosion. When panels are installed and engaged, the exposed fastener engagement is a lap. When it comes to standing seam, the engagement is either a snap or a seam generally. For length, exposed fastener systems are often limited to around 25 feet. Some people say 40, depending on the system, but you should always, always follow the manufacturer's recommended length. For standing seam systems, the panels aren't pinned to the substrate, so they can go hundreds of feet, and we see that all the time. If you have expansion and contraction concerns on your building, you're not gonna to wanna to have something that's pinned down to the substrate that won't be able to take that thermal movement. What about slope? Does that factor into what you pick? Well, yes it does. Exposed faster metal roof systems, they need a decent pitch. We recommend something above a 312 so the water has less of a chance to back up on the roof system over time and possibly penetrates the holes that the fasteners create. For standing seam systems, there are low slope standing seam applications and you can check out this video here, hydrostatic versus hydrokinetic, and we talk about this exact thing. So we've come to a really big one here. What is the cost difference between the two? Before you even think about installation, you have to take a look at thickness and paint quality. Higher quality PBDF paint system is gonna be more expensive, whereas a thicker gauge material is gonna be more expensive as well. When it comes to installation, generally exposed fastener systems are gonna be cheaper because they go down faster due to wider panel widths. There's less manufacturing time because there's less panels to get out there. Regionally makes a difference as well. Some regions have cheaper materials, different types of installation costs, so check that out as well. For standing seam systems, overall, you're gonna be paying a more premium price point than exposed fastener, but with exposed fastener, you may end up paying that initial price difference in maintenance later down the road. So what about longevity? Is there a longevity difference? And is that difference worth paying for? Let's break it down. Typically, an exposed fastener metal roofing system will use galvanized steel or galvalum. The MCA, the Metal Construction Association, says that galvalume will last upwards of 60 years. Exposed fastener systems often use an SMP or polyester paint system that won't last as long as PVDF, but some systems do use PVDF, so keep that in mind. If it's installed properly and it's maintained properly, an exposed fastener system can have great longevity. 
Now a standing seam system with its hidden fasteners, high quality PVDF paint system, the ability to expand and contract, and materials like galvalume, aluminum, zinc, copper, or stainless steel has incredible longevity. And with the properties I just mentioned, if it's installed properly and maintained properly again, it will often have a better chance at a longer life than an exposed fastener system will. Let's talk about when exposed fastener metal roofing is a good choice. If you're someone who doesn't have the budget for standing seam, but you still really want that metal roof ribbed look, then exposed fastener metal roof might be a great choice for you. It's often done DIY. People often take on their exposed fastener metal roofing projects themselves because you can pick up panels from Home Depot or Lowe's and the flashing zones are easier to take care of with exposed fastener than sanding seam because like I said before, the foam closures versus the metal flashings. So when is standing seam metal roofing a good choice? Well, if you like the look of standing seam metal roofing with its hidden fasteners, you can afford the more expensive price tag, and you want that longevity, definitely consider standing seam. It's totally up to you whether or not you want to see fasteners or you don't want to see fasteners. And again, this is just a basic overview of exposed fastener metal roofing versus standing seam metal roofing. I hope it was a good graphical representation of what we originally talked about. If it was, hit that like button for me. And if you missed the original episode, check that out right here. Leave a comment if you have any questions, anything else, subscribe here to the Metal Roofing channel. And as always, I'm Thad Barnett, and I'll catch you next time.